Hello and welcome to the International Daily Roundup by People's Dispatch, where we bring you major news developments from across the world. Our headlines Warring factions in Libya declare ceasefire, Iran rejects US bid to reimpose sanctions, US appeal court stays lower court ruling to classify Lyft Uber drivers as employees, Steve Bannon indicted on embezzlement charges, and Mapuche's spiritual leader ends hunger strike after agreement on prisoners' rights. The two key warring factions in the Libyan conflict have announced an immediate ceasefire and end to hostilities in their territories. The announcements were made on Friday, August 21st. They also included calls for parliamentary and presidential elections to be held in March 2021. The cities of Sirte and Al Jufra will also be demilitarized. Fayaz al Saraj, head of the Tripoli based Libyan Government of National Accord, GNA, which is recognized by the United Nations, said in a statement that he has issued instructions to all military forces to immediately cease fire and all combat operations in Libyan territories. In a separate statement, Aguila Saleh, Speaker of the Eastern-based Libyan House of Representatives, which supports the Libyan National Army of General Khalifa Haftar, called on all warring parties to abide by the ceasefire. Libya has been ravaged by constant wars since the US and NATO invasion in 2011. The invasion resulted in the overthrow and brutal killing of Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi. Attempts made afterwards to form a unified government failed repeatedly, leading to continuous warfare. The fighting peaked last year when General Haftar reached the outskirts of the capital Tripoli, However, he was not able to capture the capital and his forces were pushed back earlier this year. Libya has also become the site of a regional geopolitical conflict. Despite the fact that the GNA is recognized by the UN, Egypt and key Western powers as well as Russia are believed to be backing Haftar's forces. Meanwhile, Turkey emerged as the most significant supporter of the GNA and even signed an agreement with it. As per this, Turkey extended its maritime border up to the Libyan coastline. The war in Libya has come to have huge ramifications in the race for maritime resources in the Mediterranean, which also involves Israel, Cyprus and Greece. In our next story, Iran has severely criticized US attempts to reimpose sanctions on it following the latter approaching the United Nations Security Council with a demand. Iranian Foreign Minister Jawad Zarif called on the international community to dismiss the US action. The United States on Thursday formally submitted its demand to the Security Council to restore all international sanctions against Iran. It cited alleged Iranian violations of UN Security Council Resolution 2231 of 2015 and a joint comprehensive plan of action which is also known as the Iran nuclear deal. Addressing the media, US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo expressed the hope that the sanctions would be restored after the stipulated 30 days. He added that the US would vigorously implement them. Reacting to the move, Iranian Foreign Minister Jawad Zarif wrote to the UN Security Council asking it to prevent the US, which he called an unapologetic and serial violator of the Security Council resolution, from unilaterally and unlawfully destroying the authority of the Security Council. France, Germany, UK, China and Russia have already rejected the American right to ask for the restoration of these sanctions, which is otherwise known as snapback. In separate statements issued after Pompeo's notification, these countries argued that since the US had already withdrawn from the deal in 2018, it could not ask for the resumption of sanctions. As per the Security Council passed into a resolution passed in 2015, all international sanctions were lifted. The US president had threatened a snapback against Iran after humiliating diplomatic setback last week in the UNSC. Of the 15 members, just one, the Dominican Republic, voted in favor of the US proposal to indefinitely extend the arms embargo against Iran. On Friday, an appeals court in the US has decided to pause the lower court ruling which would have forced ride-hailing companies Uber and Lyft to classify all its drivers as employees in California. Uber and Lyft had earlier decided to shut down their services following the lower court ruling. For now, the drivers will continue to be categorized as self-employed contractors. California had passed a bill earlier this year which recognized the rights of workers employed in the gig economy. The bill was pushed due to the concerns that were coming up regarding the erosion of workers' rights in the gig economy by giant corporations. Following the lower court verdict, Uber and Lyft had raised concerns about hiring tens of thousands of drivers as employees overnight. The companies continue to spend millions of dollars lobbying for an exemption in the law. Labour groups have come out against what they see as dilutions to the law, arguing that it would continue allow the companies to continue squeezing out large profits on the backs of drivers. Continuing with the US, Steve Barron, the former strategist, chief strategist for President Donald Trump, was arrested and indicted by federal prosecutors on fraud charges on Thursday. The charges against Bannon, along with Brian Kolfaji, Andrew Badalato and Timothy Shea, are related to embezzling donors of millions of dollars to build a private border wall. Federal prosecutors claim that the accused misappropriated the funds for their personal use. According to the charges, Bannon alone received close to $1 million, which was used for his personal expenses. According to the Department of Justice, he made use of a non-profit he controlled to siphon off funds from the campaign. Kolfaji, Bannon and the others launched We Build the Wall campaign in December 2018. This campaign raised over US dollars 25 million and promised donors a stretch of border wall privately built along the US Mexico border. 
Bannon was the chief strategist for the Trump campaign in the 2016 presidential elections. He is widely seen as the architect of the Build the Wall slogan for the campaign and its anti-immigrant positions. Nevertheless, as news of the arrest broke out, President Trump was quick to distance himself from both Bannon and the campaign, stating that he never supported building private border walls. All the four have been released and uh, all, all the four have been released on bail. Mapuche political prisoner and spiritual leader Marchi Celestino Cordova on Tuesday announced an end to his hunger strike. The hunger strike had begun on the 4th of May. The decision to end a hunger strike came after reaching an agreement with the Chilean government. However, 26 other Mapuche political prisoners in various prisons who joined a spiritual leader in his protest action continue with the strike. Cordova had raised issues about Mapuche prisoners facing discrimination and harassment in Chilean prisons. He also took up the issue of Mapuche prisoners' requests for early release and parole being rejected. This is despite the fact that they meet the necessary requirements to qualify. Cordova began the hunger strike to demand that they be treated like other prisoners and be granted humanitarian release due to the COVID-19 pandemic. He demanded that the Chilean government comply with Convention 169 of the ILO. The convention recognizes indigenous people and their rights and allows them to spend a part of their prison sentence in house arrest. The Mapuche leader signed an eight-point agreement with the Chilean authorities. This includes a 30-hour visit home for Cordova once he recovers. It was also decided that no disciplinary sanctions by the Chilean police against the prisoners on hunger strike will be taken once they end it. Measures were also taken regarding the reviewing of prisoners' requests for bail, house arrest and parole. That's all we have time for today. We'll be back on Monday with major news developments from around the world. Until then, keep watching People's Dispatch. Yeah,